Good morning, Glenn. Yeah, what happened yesterday means that the school board will tr transition from being the only non-selected school board in the state to actually tripling its board members. Now, here's a breakdown of what we could expect in the next couple of years with the school board. Now, it will go from 7 to 20, 7, 21 members, I should say, by 2027. And in 2024, 10 members would be elected while the mayor appoints 11. Now, 2025, the hybrid board is sworn in. And in 2026, voters will elect 10 members, including a board president with that board starting their term in 2027. Now, this comes after years of officials with the teachers union pushing to have an elected school board. Crane Chicago is reporting that the mayor met with the House of Representatives Black Caucus earlier this week to ask for a delay in the vote. Now, Mayor Lori Lightfoot originally ran her campaign agreeing that the board should be elected, but that has changed since being in office, citing the cost of school board elections, which she calls the lack of ensured diverse representation. However, CTU is celebrating this vote saying the outcome honors past CTU President Karen Lewis. In a tweet yesterday, CTU said, quote, Chicago will have elected representative school board. This is the will of the people. It's their legacy. It's Karen's legacy. Now, as of right now, there is a procedural hold placed on that bill, but once that is taken off, it will be sent over to the governor's desk, and he is expected to sign it as soon as it receives it. For now, we're live downtown. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News.